Just to be clear, what are you? Prime. You're prime? Top notch. What makes you time, prime, top notch, Wu Tang? <sighs> Don't worry, I'll wait. I mean, I have everything that you could possibly ask for as far as brains, beauty, ambition. Right. I would build my man up to be everything he wants to be in this world. I'm, I'm the best investment he would ever make in his life. We live in a term where women want a real man but we can't even get a real woman they're all fake they have fake hair fake nails fake eyelashes fake bbls fake boobs fake everything but you want a real man stay tuned <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button on the way in, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content and you know what we're gonna do. First and foremost, before we do anything, say it with me y'all, we're gonna roll that clip. You approached me on a sugar daddy <laughs> website and asked me to be your sugar baby and then Never couldn't did. afford my allowance. Never did. He couldn't afford and my shit's exclusive. I've invested in my body. I have a $150,000 body. What? No one barely touches me. Yes, you can see me on Instagram because I'm paid to do that, but nobody touches me unless a man, yes, does take care of me. I like bosses. I like millionaires. I like someone who's gonna mentor me, teach me, and invest in me, and get me to my highest level as well. And just to be clear, what's a $150,000 body? Uh, four BBLs. Two breast augment, technically five BBLs, but so we're going to go with four. Uh, two breast augmentations, obviously Botox, Botox, lip, lip injections, and then I had the fat buckle removed out of my cheeks on my face. Wow. And how young are you? 28. Damn. Women is completely delusional because we live in a society where fake women are promoted. Not only are fake women promoted, being fake as a woman is encouraged. There is nothing sexy about a BBL. There is nothing sexy about a woman that has fake hair, fake eyelashes, fake everything. You think men prefer a natural body or a BBL? BBL. 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 Do you prefer natural bodies or BBL bodies? Natural. 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 And as you can see in the video, men don't like that. So it brings me back to the question, why don't women care what men think? Because if you cared what a man thought, you would actually care what a man wants. And what a man wants is exactly the opposite of what a man is getting. This is the reason why even Granny had to say something about the dating market in today's world. Well, how about you help me find a husband? How about you help me find a husband? I need him a good old one. I need him by about 60 years old. That's, that's all. It doesn't matter. It ain't the oldest. It ain't the youngest. It's the treatment. Mm -hmm. It's not the oldest, Amber. It's not the good looking one, Amber. It's not the one got money, Amber. It's the one honest. And not too many of them honest nowadays. Oh, yes, you can. If you, yes, yes, you can. There's some good men's out there. But they, what it is now, it's the women. It ain't the men no more. The women gone bad. Pow. Oh! The women gone bad. The women gone bad. The women's gone bad. It ain't the men's now. It's the women done gone bad. You gonna flip the script on us? Yeah, it's the women done gone bad. You a woman yourself. I'm a woman myself. But I don't do half the things I see these women do not. You know the dating market is bad when the elders start talking. And this is where we are as a society. 
We're living in the next level, Sodom and Gomorrah, where the women believe every man has the pay to play. And see, these are the same women that are raising our children. These are the same women that are teaching at our schools. These are the same women that are raising the next generation. This is the reason why so many women are in school letting their children listen to Sexy Red. Two, three, six! <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Thank you guys. They don't respect any authority. You ask them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. They're throwing things at each other. They're throwing things at other people, other classmates. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you and fuss at you because you tried to reprimand and redirect their kid. It's sad, it's sad, it's really, really sad. And another thing that's heart-wrenching is horrifying. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town. I really feel like this generation of women is doomed. They're all doomed because we live in a society where the modern woman is everywhere and real women are in hiding. If you want to find a real woman, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. You're not going to find a real woman out here in the dating market because all the real women, all the good women, they're either married getting married or already married with children. They're at home living a lavish life with their husband while women out here are running crazy like it's Black Friday every single day. Modern women are being created by modern single mothers who didn't make the right choices in men, and then everybody else has to pay for it. You know what would save the world is if all the women in the world took accountability and they said, you know what? We're going to take accountability for our actions. We're going to stand up and take accountability the world would probably end. Why are you running? Why are you running? This is what it's like being a man in today's dating market. This is what men all over the world are talking about. It's not that we want to leave America and go be with all the races of women. We love black women. We love our sisters. We love our black women. But our black women don't love us. I just have one question. What did black women do to black men that was so bad? What do we do historically that was so bad? We stole our children and used them as pawns for child support. You embarrass us on the daily by not dressing modestly. You talk about our mothers when we disagree with your behavior. You call us homosexual when we assert our masculinity. You lie on us to the world by telling them that we unalive you every five and a half hours. You call the police on us and get us thrown in prison or jail more than anybody else. You disrespect us when we try to bring together our families, which is what you did when you brought up Kevin Samuels in your video. You claim that we're trash and deadbeat fathers even though we are the most involved in our children's lives. You always talking about how we bash you, but you never bring up the videos of us doing so. What you would rather do is just say it and then act like the videos we do post about you aren't about your behavior, mannerisms, and characteristics that we wish would change. Go ahead and look at the last video I did about women selling their kitty for money and then come back and say, this world isn't headed up in flames. We live in a society where women place their value on their bodies instead of placing their value on getting married. We live in a world where people place their value on money and materials 
And then we expect everybody to just turn around and get married. It's not going to happen. We have to realize that even though the society we live in is terrible, we are fighting for what's right. We are fighting against modern women, the sisterhood, and delusional women. So if you're one of the people who are keeping up the good fight, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, let me know in the comment section what you think about this video, and follow me on all my social media accounts. If you want to get in touch with me and you want to send me video clips, hit me up on my email address that is in the description. And without further... And until the next video... Peace.